Once you have set up your camera for Super 1 button mode, you are now ready for step 2 of the process, which involves programming the intervalometer. The first thing you want to do is reset the factory defaults by setting the dip switches on the back of the intervalometer to 1010 0, 1, 0, or up down up down. Plug the intervalometer into the camera and wait a couple of seconds for the green LED to turn off. During this time, the camera may turn on, and that is fine. Unplug the intervalometer and set the dip switches to 0011 or down, down, up, up. This will set the mode of the intervalometer. Now when you plug the intervalometer into the camera, the LED will blink twice and then stay on. The intervalometer is now set for Hero 2 or Hero 3 white cameras. Unplugging the intervalometer and plugging it back in will cause the intervalometer to blink three times and then stay on. The intervalometer is now set for Hero 3 black, Hero 3 plus black and silver, and Hero 4 cameras. Now we come to programming the interval time. For a short interval, unplug the intervalometer and set the dip switches to 0000, zero, zero, zero or down, 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 down. In this setting, each blink of the LED will count for one second. For longer interval times, you can set each blink of the LED to count for one minute by setting the dip switches to 0101 zero, one, zero, one, or down, up, down, up. And alternatively, you can set each blink of the LED to count as 10 minutes by setting the dip switches to 0100 zero, one, zero, zero, or down, up, down, down. Although the programming time can be extended to any interval you'd like, in this example, we will be programming a 45 minute interval. So I'll be using the 0101 or down up, down up setting for each blink to count as one minute. When you plug the intervalometer into the back of the camera, the green LED on the intervalometer board will blink rapidly. You will have 15 seconds to start programming. If you miss this window, simply unplug the board and plug it back into the camera. Press the button to begin programming. You are now programming the interval that will be repeated when the intervalometer is active. The LED blinking is roughly once a second and this is used to time the interval. For our 45 minute interval, you'll need to wait for the LED to blink 45 times as each blink will indicate one minute. Once you reach the desired interval, press the button again to end the cycle. The green LED will then light continuously for several seconds to indicate the end of the programming. Finally, remove the intervalometer and set the dip switches to 1111 or up, 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 up. The intervalometer programming is now set. You are now ready to use your time-lapse intervalometer.